Welcome to the Metropia tutorial for Wipeout HD. Despite having several long straight sections, Metropia could also be considered a technical circuit. This is mainly due to the fact that it has several successive complex corners that need a good racing line to navigate accurately. There's also a long vertical maglock section that has both a tricky entrance and exit. So let's start by taking a look at the track on Venom Class. And now let's go through the track step by step. The course starts out simply enough with a very shallow left-right chicane. Try to maintain a straighter line as possible and exit on the right-hand side to hit a speed pad. As you may not be in an ideal racing line if you went for that speed pad, you'll need to use a little bit of right air brake to take yourself through this corner. It's up to you which of these two speed pads you want to go for. However, if you're in a weapons race, there is a weapon pad directly after the one on the right. If you do go for that one though, make sure you move back over to the left hand side as quickly as you can in order to hit another speed pad as you go over the peak. The right hand you see here is very shallow and it's made a lot easier by the fact that the corner itself has been cut. There is another right hand immediately following this that's a lot sharper and so getting a good approach to it through this corner is absolutely vital. Only a light tap of the right air brake will be needed to get through this one provided you're on the left hand side, but you need to exit as far over to the left as you possibly can. You'll need to turn hard and early for this one, partly because there's a speed pad on the right hand side on exit, but also because there's an equally sharp left hand we're immediately following. The corner is slightly sloped which should help you through a little. As you approach the corner, slam on the right air brake and allow your momentum to carry you into the corner. On exit, if you need to, use right side shift to pull yourself over to the right hand side. Now if you're lucky enough to have a turbo, you can start the lap a slightly different way. There is just enough room between this ramp and the first corner for you to barrel roll. However, if you do choose to do this, you will have to start making your first right turn in mid-air. Use your turbo at the foot of the ramp, and then as you go over the peak, move over to the left hand side and then use your barrel roll and then just before you land, tap the right air brake and move yourself through the corner. You'll need to exit on the left hand side again to set yourself up for the second right hander. As you'll be moving faster between the two right handers than if you didn't barrel roll, you'll need to make your turn for the second right hander slightly earlier. However, you can still side shift over to the right on exit to hit the speed pad. The left hander you see in front of you here is actually relatively sharp and is immediately followed by a shallow right hander. Start turning early for this one using the left air brake. And then on exit use the left side shift to pull yourself away from the right wall. It's very likely you approach the shallow right hander onto the maglock on the right hand side. In this case only a light tap of the right air brake will be needed to guide yourself onto it. There's a set of two speed pads and two weapon pads directly below the drop onto the maglock. There's one each on each side of the track, so whichever one you go for is up to you. However, if you want to maintain a good racing line, it would be ideal to go for the one on the left hand side. Once on the maglock, you need to choose a side and you need to stick to it. The series of speed pads and weapon pads is repeated on both sides of the maglock, so whichever side you do choose won't matter. Whatever you do, don't use any heavy air braking whilst on the maglock, otherwise you'll start cannoning off the walls. Just over this peak is another right-left chicane. Tap the right air brake to line yourself up for the corner. Once you're about halfway through, right side shift towards the right apex. This will make the line through the corner much narrower. There is a weapon pad in the centre of this corner. If you want to hit it, after you complete your right side shift, move over to the centre and then over to the left before moving into the next corner. You need to be aiming to take this left hander as shallow as possible. Move through the left apex, tap the left air brake and then aim to come out on the right hand side. This should bring you onto a speed pad. 
If you're doing a weapon race, you want to take the speed pad on the right, as there is a weapon pad directly before it. However, in a speed lap or time trial, you should go for the left. While this right hairpin ahead may look sharp, the slope will make it much easier. Approach from the left hand side and hit the right air brake as you go through. Once you're about halfway through, use the right side shift to pull yourself back over to the centre onto a speed pad. Be ready with the left air brake though, as there's a quick left on the exit from the hairpin. And now let's see the whole lap done at full speed. Thanks very much for watching and good luck with the game.